Ves could move up to fifth provisionally in the Liga and Conferama standings if they could continue their fine home form to relegation threat in Dijon. The Breton Pirates had won back-to-back -back matches in the top flight for the first time since May 2012, but were favourites to make it three on the trot. Dijon, however, have shown an upturn in form themselves. After drawing with Marseille in week seven, the Mustard men recorded consecutive victories before a vital point earned at Lyon last weekend. Olivia Delio up against familiar faces, the former Dijon coach gunning for his former employees, and Christian Batocchio almost with an audacious first top flight goal. Alfred Gomez almost shot from the corner. Yuan Kaur has spoken lately of suffering from diabetes and yet managing to continue his career, whatever he's doing, it's certainly working. And lucky not to add to his two league goals this campaign already. The 29 year old, the creative heartbeat with five assists, picking out Paul Lan, but Gomez equal to the header. Didier Ndong, no league on Conferama goals since his Loyon days back in 2015. Testing out Gauthier Larsonnier on a rain swept pitch in Brittany, but Bresse on course for a third win on the trot for the first time in the top flight since October 2010. Dijon though, unbeaten in four and not ready to give up so easily. Stefan Jobor looking for more from his mustard men. Instead it was Bresse who went in search of the opener and what an opener it was. A first goal for Bresse and one that won't be forgotten in a hurry. Paul Lan with an absolute stunner. Holding his position at the edge of the area. And Gomez with absolutely no chance with his sensational volley. Aris Bel Kelba almost getting a second. Gomez standing firm. Kate Chabonnier taking the corner. And it was his captain, Julien Fossurier, who almost doubled the home side's advantage. But it was Johan Kors' corner that got them the second. A sixth assist for the former OL man. But it was Dennis Burr who got his first top flight goal in a 10th league appearance. Well, stunning from the youngster. Two goals in seven second half minutes for Bress on their way to another home victory. But Joy turned to tears. Yonder Cadiz taken down and a red card ruining Barnes night after the joy moments before. Although the youngster would have been delighted to find that VAR did show it was a free kick. Jeremy Pina not pointing to the spot. A shake of the hand for the teenager and a harsh lesson to be learned. Well, Sub Munia Shoya tried to get. Dijon back in the match, but Lassonneur on course for a third clean sheet in a row. Dalio checked his watch and the final whistle went on a hard fought win. The first time Bresse have won three on the bounce in Ligue 1 Conferama for nine years. It sends Dijon bottom, but the Bretons riding high in fifth. <laughs>